Now that we've covered the basics of what AP Computer Science A is all about, from object-oriented programming in general to how computers really work, we can start taking a look at programming ourselves. We'll be writing code in a programming language called Java, and like any language, before we can start to write it, we have to learn its rules. This really is analogous to learning a new language with quote-unquote spelling and grammar, except we just give them different names. Programming languages are orchestrated by two standards, syntax and style. For example, if a five-year-old writes a letter to his mom in English, it's more likely than not that his spelling is terrible, his punctuation is random, and his grammar is nearly non-existent, but we'll still be able to read it and understand it for the most part. That's not the case with Java or really any other programming language. If there are any errors in the spelling, punctuation, or symbols, the program won't run as intended, or it might not even run at all. This is called syntax. Syntax refers to the rigid rules which govern the text of a program and, and basically makes programs understandable for computers. It's the reason why looking at computer code for the first time can be so funky, with all the weird keywords and semicolons and curly braces. The only way we can make a machine understand what we're typing is if we're exact and precise every single time. Let's take a look at an example of this. Here's a class we're going to be using later on, so don't panic if most of it looks like a foreign language because at this point, it really is. The computer needs things like this keyword int to know when it's storing an integer. It needs semicolons at the end of each line to know when a command's over. It needs this keyword class to know when a class is being declared and defined. So these are all the elements of the syntax, and as we learn different aspects of programming, we're going to learn the various rules of syntax. So that's how we get computers to understand our code. But how do we make programs understandable for humans? After all, if we're working on a huge project, I don't know, maybe you're working for something like Google Maps or Yelp, you're gonna have hundreds of different files with lots of code. How do we keep all of it organized? That's where style comes in. Style refers to how we organize code based on conventions to make it more readable and useful for humans. This means things like arranging code on separate lines, inserting spaces in blank lines, and indenting fragments of code. If we look at our class again, all of these things make the code pretty for us humans to read. But the computer doesn't care about style. If we condense this entire chunk of code into a single line, it'd work exactly the same. And I think I have an example of that, so let's take a look at this same exact class, but I've condensed all the code into a single chunk. So, believe it or not, this code would run exactly the same in our Java compiler. The reason for that is because all redundant white space is ignored by the compiler. Whether it's a single space, multiple spaces, a line break, a tab, it doesn't matter. The compiler just thinks of it as one single space that separates consecutive words. White space is for us humans, and for our organization of the code into blocks that we can understand. So again, this Java code will run exactly the same, since all the syntax is correct. All the keywords are the same, all the semicolons are in place, the computer will understand it just fine. But we, on the other hand, have a lot harder time understanding this big mess of code. That's why style is so important. If we don't write with proper style, our friends, colleagues, employers, whoever, they won't be able to easily understand our code. Style conventions have evolved over time among Java professionals, and we'll learn proper style as we move along in this course. For now, we'll just take a look at basic ways to organize our code, with statements, blocks, and indentation. Statements are the basic lines of code we write in Java. There are two types of statements, declarations and control statements. Declarations describe objects and methods, while control statements describe actions. Statements in Java are terminated with a semicolon, which basically just means we put a semicolon at the end of every line. We can group statements using braces. These braces divide the code into blocks, which we can think of as different chunks of code that do different tasks. If there's a block inside of a block, so if we have something that looks like this, and then we have another block inside of that, and obviously maybe there'll be some code written in here, this is called a nested block, kind of like those, you know, those Russian dolls where you can put one inside of another. Every time you go into a nested block, you need to add an indentation. A common Java style is to indent with two spaces, so we'll go along with that, but note that if you're typing in an IDE, the indentations will usually just happen automatically. So that's the difference between syntax and style, two important ideas to understand as we move forward into learning how to program with Java.